you know, I don't know what it is. The Somerville to South Carolina connection has been very, very good to South Carolina over the years. I think of you. I think of some of your other teammates. It, that has seemed to be a nice pipeline for the Gamecocks. But, again, you being an in-state guy, a local kid, just talk about your recruitment to South Carolina because, you know, a lot of people, they don't really think about that in baseball, the recruiting starts so early on. It's so much different than football. I mean, you got guys that are committing as true as freshmen in high school. You know what I mean? So it – it starts so early, but just talk about, you know, your, the recruiting process for you. Did you grow up a South Carolina fan? I mean, when did South Carolina come into the picture, and what made you choose to go to Carolina? Yeah, so um, you talk about the Somerville kind of pipeline. So it was actually at one point um, I was committed to Clemson. TJ Hopkins uh, played with him since I was young. He was committed to College Charleston, and then everybody thought Zach Bailey, who uh, lived with me for a brief time, but we went to school middle school together and then high school together. He was, everybody thought he was going to Clemson and we all ended up like figuring it out. I decommitted, TJ decommitted, Zach ended up uh, flipping to, or not flipping, but deciding to go to South Carolina. So it was crazy. And that happened within like a one year span. Uh, but yeah, like my family was always South Carolina fans. Uh, my dad's side of the family, they were all Georgia people. So mm. I had some interest in Georgia. Uh, obviously, I committed to Clemson when I was young. They were the first to offer. So, I don't know. I, I loved Coach Leggett, loved Coach LaCroix, and uh, loved Coach Papaselli. I actually saw him. He's the uh, head coach at Cornell. So, when we mm. played them my senior year, uh, I got to talk to him. So, that was pretty cool. But, yeah. So, I'm trying to think the timeline. So, I think I committed to Clemson going into my sophomore year. And then I decommitted my junior year. And uh, that's when – Coach Holbrook reached out, and we started talking, and uh, you know, just kind of fell in love with the place. My brother talked me into it as well, so <laughs> it all ended up working out. But how how much easier did it make the decision when it's like you, TJ, Zach Bailey, you guys are all going to uh, all going to Carolina? How much easier did it make that decision since all your all your buddies basically are going to Carolina? It's like, hey, why don't we just go to Columbia together? Yeah, it made it real easy. Like I don't know, especially when TJ was on me because I think TJ was already committed. And when he was on, I know me, I he's play. a he's a diehard gamecock man. He 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 bleeds. Yeah, it. <laughs> he's like my brother. Yeah. He's like my brother. Like he'll fight people over it. Like he, I don't know. He he had me committed pretty much. And then you know, honestly, Coach Elliott, the football, mm. uh, I got pretty tight with him. I bet my phone's sitting up on Good. this thing. Uh, but yeah, Zach was was talking to Coach Elliott, and I got to meet him because I play football too. And so I actually saw, like, a bunch of the recruiting coordinators for, like, all these, I don't know, major colleges through Zach. And I got really tight with Coach Elliott. Um, and then when TJ was talking to me and then when Coach Holbrook, you know, came in the picture, you know, it was just like, I, I don't know, it just seemed like it, it fit. And uh, I really liked the coaches. I liked the players. I knew that if, if I already knew people when I was going in, I'd already be more comfortable. And just, like, I feel like if you're more comfortable – uh, when you go in, then like it's not, I don't know, it's not as new. It's not, you don't feel so overwhelmed. Um, mm -hmm. And so I felt like that was a big part for me as well. For sure. So I, I want to talk about Coach Holbrook a little bit. And we're going to kind of get into what happened going from the transition from Holbrook to Kingston. But what was the relationship like with him? I, I know he was obviously on the staff when South Carolina won the back to back national titles. Mm -hmm. Definitely a players coach. Players loved him. I and mean, all your teammates I've had on that have talked about him, they all loved him. What was the relationship like with you between you and Holbrook? Yeah, so I love Coach Holbrook. Uh, I still talk to him um, every so often. Like, I, I love Coach Holbrook. I love playing for him. We've always had a good relationship. Uh, you know, I never had met him before I committed to him. Well, no, I say – so when I committed to Clemson, I had never met Coach Holbrook. Uh, Coach Myers was the one that originally showed, showed me around on my first visit when I was, like, a freshman or something. So I didn't really know him. But then when I decommitted from Clemson, uh, we got really tight through uh, to him recruiting me. Uh, he actually came down to some football games. He, I think, watched me play against Goose Creek, like my sophomore – or no, not my sophomore, my junior year after I decommitted. And uh, so I, I created a relationship with him then, and I, I don't know, I just fell in love with the guy, man. He, he's awesome. He, he's a great dude. He, uh, you know, just – was a lot like a lot of people I know from Somerville, just kind of laid back. Uh, so we just, we just kind of hit it off. 